Okay, I guess the Cell Master is going to be back on board with another guide for this. Why not? So, you guys want to learn Cell? I'll fucking show you how to use Cell, alright? What's up, boys? Bob here. Welcome to another guide for Bordekai Tenkai 3. Glad I'm doing another one of these because I have not touched this game in a good while for the channel. Well, except for the recent stuff with Mission 100, but you know, that's aside from the fact. So, today, I figured that since I'm in the middle of doing not only Mission 100 for the channel, also, but also doing Mission 100 on new game on new games. So basically I have only the default starting characters that I have access to Basically I've been putting so much mileage in the cell that I figure you know what I he's been basically my quasi main next to Super Saiyan 4 Goku for many years. So I figured Yeah, let's go ahead and share the, with the audience how to actually use this uh, green insect man so, I guess with the general introductions, why exactly would you want to use Cell? Yes, I'm transitioning immediately after having had like a two minute interrupt. So, Cell is a very, very well balanced character. I'm also going to say that unlike with the olden days of Budokai 2 and 3, he's not very complicated with Tios whatsoever. I don't think anyone would really argue he's complicated to use in Budokai 3. I more so say that because his combo routes in the game were kind of finicky to use sometimes. Here, there is no such real difficulty curve whatsoever. You can pick him up and immediately start doing stuff with him. So that's really cool. So, uh, general pros and cons. I haven't, by the way, I haven't scripted this whatsoever. I'm literally just ad libbing off the top of my head because I have so many hours put into this fucking guy. So, first of all, obviously, I'm going to do something similar with how I did Super the, the Goku M guide. Uh, I did that a long time ago if you want to go consult that for whatever reason. It's a bit older. Try, uh, be worried about that. Um, the difference with. That, however, is that every form of Goku is more so like a completely different experience. With Cell here, everything is sort of connected in a, in a weird sort of way. Mostly because you can't down transform. Like, for example, if I were to transform right now with Cell, go through the fairly lengthy transformation sequence. This is the um, small negative. Yeah, it's whatever. If you're then hold, you know, the guard equipment or to then go to skill list. You can't go back, so slightly iffy, but I guess we can take things from the start. So, Cell is very flexible. He has four transformations, and each of them actually does bring with them something completely different to the table. For example, ba Basic and Perfect Cell has some... He's more so an average character on, on par with, like, say, maybe, like, the base Saiyans. He's, he's basically like a super watered-down Piccolo, I guess. He's, he does have a pretty uh, good attributes though with being able to heal off of his throw on his ultimate. Semi-perfect form has some neat stuff, not bad melee. Um, perfect Cell is just one of the best forms, in the, best forms in the game. And Super Perfect Cell, yes, that's how I'm denoting it. Fuck you. <laughs> is a kind of a decent Super Saiyan 2 s character, but not quite there. So, what all well out of the way. Um, one issue is that every transformation takes an amount of resources. That is an unfortunate thing. Now, if you're playing this multiplayer, you, you're you probably going to just pick a cell and just immediately go at it, yeah? Like, you, you're not going to, like, try climbing it too much unless you have specific ideas, yeah? So you can just kind of pick whatever you want. But if you're playing this in a specific way and you need to climb forms, each one takes, like, two bars, I think. Like, it's not really cheap in order to form combat them. I don't think any of them get to three key, uh, three, uh, blast docks for any of them, but it can be a little bit costly if you're not running custom setups, you know what I mean? Yeah, so for, like, going from here. Also, you, you can only climb one form at a time. That's another thing to note. Um, it's not like Super Saiyan where you can go straight from base form, like, three. It, you gotta go through the linear order of things. But I guess with that, we can go ahead and start. So each form of cell does bring something unique to the table. We're gonna start this with per imperfect time codes down below if you want to ignore certain forms and my long wooden explanations, I suppose. Also, just heads up, yeah, I, I perfectly believe perfect form cell is probably one of the best characters in the game. If you don't know why, you'll see why. So anyway, basic cell, what do we have? Basic cell is not too bad by himself. I think he might have hit stun on par with Super Saiyan, meaning that his um, armor beating attributes will actually be be like Super Saiyan level. I don't think he goes above Super Saiyan 
until it's super perfect cell where he definitely has super sand two uh armor bustings that's kind of cool um his actual attributes by the way a lot to cover with every form of cell i'm not going to cover like what i believe to be hitboxes although <laughs> this form does have pretty good size uh smash uh, strong attacks so not too bad not too bad now for actual uh what, what does this form excel in he excels in two things uh defense and attrition this form itself is not really meant to be an up close brawling kind of character for example look at this two heavy finishes a flat a flying kick and a blaster wave no really flying kick yeah literally just two flying kicks or uh, sorry two heavy finishes a flying kick and a blaster wave not really breaking any ground Hard to pick off the ground. I think you gotta be, do this really fast. If you can even do it at all, really. So, that's unfortunate. But I will say, though, this form does have some interesting hitboxes on a lot of his stuff. Um, general strengths of this form are definitely... He's got some good damage output, surprisingly. Like, Command Man does some decent damage. You can go 11k if you, fully, if you get the perfect charge. Special Beam Cannon can likewise get to some pretty respectable, like, near ultimate level uh, damage. That's pretty good. Um, I can't really show it in training mode, unfortunately, but his ultimate is one of the few means of, like, self-perpetuating healing. Really sick. All that, you can... That's a full bar of, of health you can restore by yourself. Throw heals as well. Like, the amount of damage you deal... Uh, with the tail itself is the amount you regain. So that's cool. That's fucking sick. Um, let me also go over really fast. Blast Flame game isn't horrible. So I'm up and down on the use of Solar Flare because on the one hand, it's a little bit slow. It does actually break an opponent's lock on. I'm not sure what exactly you, what uses you can get out of that in competitive, unless you want to like go for a close in mix ups, or you want to like bail and hide behind a rock. Like you can do that and like fail behind rubble or something. Let me see if you can actually do that. Yeah, I mean, I have to be a little bit faster. The other blast, too, however, is you know, uh, after image, really fucking good. After image basically kicks in after a lot of like uh, smash attacks or melee attacks, and you can stockpile them. The only issue is there's it's not wild sense where you can immediately counter attack afterwards, but you can get someone's backside and just immediately start doing stuff. So that's cool. Um, I want to say his low sweep might have a decently sized hitbox. I've I've had a hit in situations that probably shouldn't, but I wouldn't rely on that. So that's not too bad. Um, other stuff this form has. Key blast game is not terrible. Um, full charge, knockdown, running version, and our knockdown. Let me see if I can get this. Yeah, mail, mail, key blast isn't too bad. Like, I, what, what I'm trying to really convey is that this former cell isn't horrid. Um, it's definitely got some... Like, trying to extend easily can be a little bit finicky. Like, this is probably the patch I can do right now. Which isn't horrible. 16k, eh, it's, it's not... Amazing, but I'll deal with it. Uh, let's see. I want to say most of the smash enders, if you're an ultimate, also probably end a special mean cannon. I want to say what I'm trying to convey is that special imperfect cell. If I were to give him like an arbitrary, arbitrary number, he's like a 2.5 out of 5. He's very average. He again, like I said, water down piccolo because special beam can is by the way probably his most damaging option and being able to also stockpile. After image with solo flare, it's not too bad. Um, I, again, like I said, funky, ridiculously large hitbox. I think it takes a little longer to charge each though, so getting snap timing is gonna be a little bit hard. There we go. It's whatever. I mean, it's still kind of cool, but uh, your mileage will vary out of it. But no, this form can do some things. Um, I don't think I will rely on too much. I view Imperfect Cell as definitely more of a stepping stone to, to uh, 
transformation climbing more so than being like an out and out decent form by itself but it's not too bad um ultimate itself does like 10k which can then which will also heal you i will say being able to heal heal, uh, heal a health with not one but two moves is pretty cool by itself so that's not too bad now in order to get to the perfect uh, next form so two blast ox i'm gonna say that soul Flare costing two after bitch costing two this form can be a little costly you know what i mean like if you want to play decently command man is the only thing that costs decent amount actually drain like cell does only cost four doesn't it for a full bar of, of healing that's not too bad all right I think I've covered an upground with base for, with Imperfect Self. Um, let's see, anything else? Uh, Lift Strike, I feel like has some good Phantom Hitbox. Let me try it. Yeah, that's that's actually not too bad. I think the Hitbox actually is like Rotten Tail too. Will it come in handy? I don't know. Key Blast is okay, it's got some spread. Not too jabby overall. Yeah, again, like I said before, this is a cell I spend a lot of time with personally, but if you are stuck and you want to invest, if you want to do some stuff, it's not too bad. Definitely invest in defense. Uh, this cell is really good at Wars of Attrition. Uh, the bigger issue I think this cell has, aside from hitboxes, is just the fact that it does he doesn't have any instant, you know, instant attacks. Like, there's no barrage death beam, there's no big bang attack, there's no full power death beam there's not a lot going on here twitch chat's dead so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off it's not amazing but it's not like you're really suffering with this character either it is worse you can get so next form all right so semi-perfect form this is where i feel like things pick up a little bit semi-perfect form actually does have some beef about him as i have literally being big beefy boy big big shell so Oh no, Alex, you can interrupt whenever you want. Uh, don't feel bad about it. So, Seven Perfect Cell does actually have some pretty decent attributes. Out of, um, surprisingly, this form of Cell, I think, is actually a pretty underrated character to use in Battle Point Battles. That, uh, dual, sorry, Dragon Point Battles. That seems incredibly weird. Specifically because this form costs six points to, to uh, choose. And it's literally, and this form is literally one form below Perfect Form Cell, so. Honestly, he's pretty good for Dragon Point battles because of how how cheap he is. So that's one cool use for him. Uh, most of his attacks are, are, yeah, most of his attacks are still intact. You got the same lip strike, same low sweep. I want to say uh, that's gone. That sucks. That's not too shabby. I'm not again. I'm not going to over detail with like every single thing, but he's got. He's not too bad. I remember this one had good key blast though. A little bit slower and a little more pressure based. Low off axis. Not too horrible. Now, where does form really begin to shine? Actually, this is a good thing. Um, Drain Life Cell is now a blast two. And that might seem initially a little bit lazy, but you can literally heal 5k on command for like fucking three bars. That's actually really nice. Now, one thing I do want to mention, this form of Cell, his Drain Life only affects organic creatures. It does not affect uh, androids or complete androids. So, like, he can self-heal on himself, obviously. But if you do this on Android 16, 17, 18, it should work on 17 and 18 because they do have organics, whatever. 19, 20, um, 13, no, Android 8, 13. And there's a couple others I'm not thinking of offhand. Uh, Metal Cooler, that's another one. Doing this will not actually work on them. Uh, you will still get the throw, and you can still get the initial damage, but the damage is kind of poopy if you go for the uh, Blast 2s. Uh, rather, if you go for Drain Life Cell specifically and the throws. So that's unfortunate, but it is still what it is. Uh, just be wary. The, these two forms of Cell can be a little matchup knowledge dependent. Now, that being said, also, we have now reached from four blast stock uh cap to five and what does this bring us this brings us a couple of things solar flare is still here so so uh kurt's pointing on chat probably super 17 peel off machine two, machine two i was holding off on 17 on super 17 but i think you're right i think you're right definitely not gonna pick peel off machine i don't think that'd be weird if it could 
Now, what's different here? Uh, we have Big Bang Crash. Which is not a bad move, actually. Th this move is kind of okay. Specifically, it's like... It is literally just like a Vegeta's Big Bang Attack. Just with like a different coat of paint. And that brings with it all the benefits and problems you would expect. One is the reliability. Uh, its speed is okay. The problem is the hitbox is kind of... Small-ish. Like, it's almost, it's only slightly bigger than a full-size character, which is fine, but if you're worried about your opponent dodging, there is always a tr the chance in my whiff. Oh my god, Buck Bumble's playing. <laughs> Maybe not for right now. Okay, let's go with that one. Um, so, you know, on the Blast 2 front, perfect super... Yeah. Semi-perfect Stella is actually really good. Um, honestly, probably one of the sleeper picks of this game. Now... That's mostly if you if you weren't into Wars of Attrition or you need to really hang on to the cell. He has two really good healing moves. Uh, Big Bang Crash is decent. He's honestly not that bad. Now, where kind of falls apart is his ultimate. Um, I'll talk about Pump Up in a second. Now, on the one hand, yeah, this is a new, new unique animation that's really cool. But it's a self-destruct move. Let's just wait for this all to play out. Takes a little, a little bit to get through also, but it's not that big a deal. Yeah, you you deal uh, probably less than what Final Explosion would do. And you get left on, I think, one bar of health? You're either on one bar of health or you're on half a bar of health. I don't remember which one offhand because I try not to do it if I can help it, but this brings me to a couple funny things. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Every time you transform with Cell, uh, such as going from imperfect to semi-perfect, and then semi-perfect to perfect, you regain a full a full bar of health. I want to say. I'm pretty goddamn sure it's a full bar of health. Going from perfect to super perfect, it's only half a bar. It's unfortunate. Uh, current chat, it's not 1 HP. I don't believe it is. It's enough that you can then quickly uh, transform into uh, perfect cell, and you can recover some health after you go boom. That being said, though, the damage between... This and doing... Well, it's a full extra bar, I guess. If you're going to kill your opponent, you're going to kill your opponent. But 17k for literally evaporating your whole, whole health bar when his form is literally built around defense. It's fun. It's cool. But I, w I don't break this out often. Otherwise, I'm at, I'm just like, Ugh, God, I'm about to lose cell, aren't I? But, yo, shout out to how good this looks in uh, 10 AP, though. Fuck me. That's good stuff. Yeah, 17k for how little you get left with. E. It's iffy, but it's not too horrible. So, no. um, Arbitrary score for Cell. Eh, 6 out of 10. It's good. He's good. He's honestly pretty good. Oh, yeah. Also, um, I forgot to bring this up. I mentioned this. I showed this a chat a little bit earlier. I would like to give a special shout out to this guy right here over on GameFAQs. It's a really well put together uh, cell guide that actually gave me a lot of my notes going forward. It's honestly a really good guide that illustrates like a lot of his strengths and weaknesses super concisely. Also, shout out to the fact that there is a Wii version of this game, so don't forget that. Dolphin version looks really good. But yeah, anyway, let me get a quick swig of this. Um, is there anything else of note for Perfect Cell? Um, Key Blast game is a little bit more of the same. I think this is, resembles more perfect cells than some of these, though. Oh, yeah, that's a bit more of a chunky one. Yeah, this is what usually gets going forward. That's not bad. Uh, jump Key Blast, you never use this, but it's there. As for com Oh, yeah, fuck me. I forgot how I can believe I completely forgot about this combo side. Perfect. Uh, some sorry, I keep doing that. Semi Perfect Cell does have some options. Two heavy finishes, a blaster wave, and a rolling hammer. Kind of bumped up the rolling hammer to the next form, but okay, why not? No, this version of Cell can actually get some good shit. Uh, a couple of pump ups, slower charge speed overall, like you can see even with the blues. But the attack attack buff is not that bad. In fact, this doesn't just go away if you use a super attack. <laughs> I don't do it there, I guess. But no, with Pump Up, you can actually get some half-decent damage.
Oops, I believe fucked that up. Is that three or four? Four, okay. I think I fucked up the first couple times. Oh, I keep undershooting it. Fell out. That was 10k though, that's not too bad. We can take this much higher though. Yeah, take a look at this. And you can end with a heal. 14k, this should be about almost 20. No, it'll be over 20. Also, you can, uh, you can come afterwards too. That's okay. Uh, of course, what the combo I just did was super resource heavy. <laughs> Normally, you're probably just gonna go for Rolling Hammer, but also one other thing, this is one of those forms where, uh, Lights don't combo into heavy finishes very well at all. Like, there's either a lack of hits on the punches or heavy finishes takes a little bit to come out. So you probably want to go for rolling hammer first. I think this one's a little more economic for a combo ender. Should have did a little bit differently, but whatever. But no, um, semi perfect cell overall definitely a good step up over, over uh, the prior form. Still has Blaster Wave, I think, on three. Now, Blaster Wave, I just can never get a read on if I like it or not. Because, like, the self-body uh, Blaster Wave, it does have a good hitbox. It goes, I don't think, 360, but it goes a good amount to the sides. Um, But, like, if they get hit by it, like, oftentimes, if it's got even a little bit charged, it can pop out. That's okay, but it's not much. Um, let's see, anything else of note? Nah, I don't think there's too much more to go over. But yeah, no, Super Perfect Cell is pretty good. Now, uh, another two to get, wait, did I cover? Let's get the number really fast for what, how much more damage I can get pump up. 300 versus, did I do the right input? Am I having a brain fart? Ah, I'm having a brain fart. Hang on. L2 plus up. Oops. Let me show you my power. Wow. That's actually a bit. Of, that's a full 50% upgrade because holy shit. <laughs> you guys see that? Hang on. Let me get this number again really fast. Hang on. That's actually a much bigger bump than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So 300. Let me show you my power. 450. I was expecting like a 20% bump. That's 50. That's a good amount more damage than I thought it was be. Okay, yeah, pump. I never use pump up because a key get drain is always a bit of a pain in the ass, but if it does that much for your attack, holy fuck, okay. Anyway, next form, perfect form. Um, I guess one thing, but yeah, no, this form is great. Uh, some of the best Blast 2 selections in the game. Um, really resourceful character. Definitely use this character if you want to sort of, like really uh, duel it out uh, or, or slog it out, I guess. Just remember, Dream Life form, Dream Life Cell does not work on giant characters. Remember that. Remember that. Okay, next one. And there are two blast dogs down the drain too. I truly believe Cell is one of the best characters in the game, but it becomes much better if you're able to, you know, have access to custom matches because then you can lower the cost of, um, uh, you can lower the cost requirements and for blast dogs as well as raise your generation of blast dogs and you just, it becomes so much better. Okay, super perfect cell. One of the best characters of the game, I feel. Top 10, 15? Honestly, he's got one of the best moves in the game. Uh, he's got a really good selection. He's really good. Also, maybe it's just me, but I feel like his dash speed becomes way faster. Am I the only one who sees that? Like, it just feels a lot. It feels like I just kind of zip around with him. I don't know. I've never no, known if he can, if. Dashby actually goes up with some characters, but definitely feels like a lot better with him in this form. 
Uh, whatever. Anyway, so this form is the one I have easily the most experience with. This is the one, this is my baby. Um, I'm gonna say it right now, this character is like an 8.5 or 9 out of 10. He is such a complete package. The only thing he's really missing, actually he's missing two things. One is that he's missing a lot of like uh, armor busting. He's still got Super Saiyan at one level. Um, I forget what the exact number is, but like if you're a Super Saiyan 4 with certain stats, you can get like up to the 7. Um, the best way to illustrate this is like against Broly. Um, usually it takes Super Saiyans like after the first two hits of the combo string, they can actually stun him with moves. Um, Super Saiyan 2, you can stun him after the first punch. And in Super Saiyan 3, he's going to do a stun with any attack. Uh, Perfect Cell does look less bulky than Super Perfect Cell. That might be part of it. I feel like that is definitely the case, but also just feels like he yeah, he is faster on his feet in this form. So, I don't know. I've never known that to be a factor, but maybe it is the case. Who knows? Anyway, so one of the first reasons why was Perfect Cell is one of the best characters in the game. This. One of the absolute fastest Blast 2s in the whole fucking game. Like... <clears throat> We are literally talking like up there with, um, not Volcano Explosion, the other one, the second Blast 2 with, uh, Sin Shenron. Nappa also has it. It's something Eruption. I know that for a fact, but it's, it's good. One of the absolute fastest punishes you can have access to in the game. Such a good move. This move terrorizes giant characters as well. I feel like they never, if, even if they Z counter perfectly the first beam, they're going to get hit by a second and third one. But no, just right. We're getting this out of the way right now. This is one of the best moves in the game. Uh, I fully believe. The speed, the fact that it only costs two bars, the fact that any hit connecting will cause them to just get the get the knockdown. It's, it's good. Even the damage for like how cheap this is is not that bad. Like I think even Super Command Man, like is like only slightly above that in terms of damage. That's really good. Good shit. Uh, perfect body. <laughs> I like how call that. Still costs fucking two bars to get to the next form as well. So let's just go ahead and sit with this character for a minute. Oh yeah, the other problem he has is that he doesn't have rolling hammer. That's about it. And even then, like, two heavy finishes, blaster kick, uh, blaster wave, and heavy uh, flying kick. Still good. So, now lip strike and, um, what is it? Uh, low sweep actually, uh, do change. This one still has slightly above average range, I feel. Like, look at this. You can get this from, from pretty good ranges. Up, uh, lift Strike is kind of normal. It's whatever. Let me check the name of the sweep again. Lift Strike. Ground Slash. That's what it's called. Fuck, sorry. Uh, other stuff. Key Blast game is also really good now. Like, it's a lot more concise. It's a lot more... It's really fast. Like, you can just literally boy with this character and just get good results. It's nice. Let me just show you a regular, regular combo with them. Yeah, Blaster Wave uh, just kind of like pops them out of the combo if they've taken enough hit, uh, hits. It's kind of weird. And just buffer that in. I could go much higher, but I, I'm not, I'm getting brain bars on how exactly to do that off the top of my head. But yeah, that's really good. Um, unfortunately, Cell no longer self heals. He's got the normal uh, pummel knock away. A lot of characters have that one, but it's not that big a deal really because even, okay. This form is literally so good. Even when he lost all of his self healing me methods outside of transforming into perfect Cell, or rather super perfect, he's so good. He's literally that good. Um, well, let's, my brain is very scattered right now. Let's take this from the top, shall we? So, a first blast wave, or sorry, yeah. first blast one is explosive wave. Now, in lower, in lower skill matches, like against the AI or probably like more beginner matches, this is a godsend because for one bar, you can literally combo break in a given time. Like you can literally use this to interrupt a combo break. It's amazing. Now, because of the if he hits on however you can actually be punished for this even when it succeeds depending on the matchup it's good of you to look through and figure out what those situations are but it's not even that it's not that big a deal yeah i can also multi-hit it's kind of weird 
Uh, next one is obviously after image strike. Not after image strike. God, I wish. After images. So he's gone from having some fairly expensive blast ones to all of a sudden. Oh, I can kind of just whip these out whenever I want to. Awesome. If you're not investing in, per in perfect barrier, you're probably going to want to keep dumping into after image because it's such a good get out jail free card. Like you can literally just depending on the move that ha that happens, you can literally just kind of like immediately get out. Oops, I'll take that. Uh, next up, Super Command Man. Not an amazing move. Definitely more average. It is, in fact, a good upgrade over the default Command Man wave. I like to use this more for like it, it's a it's a beam that you can charge. You have complete armor against weak key blasts and melee attacks. I think until they do something stronger like a smash or like a, a charge attack, or you get hit by another blast too. You know stuff like that. I find this to just be very good if you're sitting at a distance and you want to like force a move from your opponent, you know? Because sometimes they're probably not going to want to go into a, a beam struggle. They might want to go for like, I don't know, like just sit there and evade. And of course, the mind comes in from this because like if they're moving around, this tracks them. Like, or rather like sells charge uh, moves with them. Let me see if I can illustrate this well. I mean, I guess you can also beam struggle, I guess. I'm losing this one. Funny that. It doesn't have to launch, obviously. Yeah, you see that? It actually tra it actually does follow him. That's really cool. And now I'm battle damage, and it's gonna bother me. I will. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, now with Barrage Death Beam. I've already kind of covered a little bit. This is such 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 a good yeah, such a good move. Like look at that. even after Wild Sense kicked in with him, I didn't even know he had that set up. <laughs> it followed him. Um, literally all these moves, every single barrage death thing will try to realign with the opponent. It's not linear like it is in Raging Blast. It will they will each one of them will try to follow the opponent. If I set him to even like a default setting, watch this. They just follow him. It's also just a great whip punisher like this because of how lightning fast it is. See that? Yeah. And it recovers so quickly. You're not going to punish this like ever realistically. The only way you can realistic, pu realistically punish this is if there's already a beam active or you're close enough, you're sidestepping out of the way. This move is literally so quick. And it ever... Now, Frieza also has this, and this move alone is one of the reasons why I feel like Frieza is kind of uh, slept on, or rather, you know, Final Form Frieza. So yeah, that, just briefly covering that move. I could spend forever talking about that move, but I'm not going to. Ultimate is Perfect Barrier. It is an explosive wave, and that brings with it all the properties you normally expect. But that being said, well, you know, on top of looking very visually distinct, very nice to look at. Um... I think I want to say the ultimate, this the the ultimate attack barriers have different properties than super attack barriers. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I feel like it's because you can block super explosive ways, but you can't block the ultimate barriers. Like um, Super Saiyan Broly also has one as his ultimate, and I know you can't block that either. As far as I know, the only way to escape it is if you have enough. Uh, after image socks piled up, you have after image strike enabled, or maybe you can perfectly manually Z, uh, Z counter every single hit, which is like, you're, yeah, and you're not doing that one. But no, this is really cool. Uh, perfect barrier is honestly like a good way. It's a good combo under. Um, I want to, oh, no, that's right. Explosive waves, regular, uh, regular explosive waves cannot absorb um, ultimate attacks. Ultimate barriers can. Um, so like this can block a spirit bomb. This can literally block a spirit bomb. So that's <laughs> You will never use it for such uh, reasons, but you can't do it. <laughs> so, you know, it's whatever um, Is there anything else I'm missing here? Uh, flying flying kicks being on uh, sock one by the way is really good because you can just immediately go from a low sweep and uh, make and restand them with um this uh you can immediately restand them directly after um 
a low sweep into staying again so you can continue your combo. So that's kind of cool. Uh, very basic combo stuff. Otherwise, if you want to do a, a low sweep and then keep going with the combo, you'd have to do, you have to give up your uh, light charge. It's whatever, but it's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, otherwise you have to do this. And yeah, that bring, does bring with the problems. You might accidentally get a snap off, or um, you might mistime it, or you might need it for some other part of your combo. Because if you do the uncharged smash attack, you can just free like stun your combos. Like watch this. Oops. Or you might have a good character, and you actually get a full smash out or charge out anyway. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, this character is amazing. Eight point five out of ten, probably like a nine. I sincerely believe he is like one of the best characters in the game, easily. Um, so yeah, really good shit. Now, it's funny how fucking Cell is like Mega Garchomp and Pokemon. Funny enough, where like when you do it, you even though you kind of power up, you get worse. Like seriously worse. He, even with Cell getting a rolling camera, he gets a good amount worse. Actually, let's go ahead and show you why. First of all, this heals you half a bar. Just so we get out of the way right now. Now, take a lot of what I said about um, Perfect Cell, but like just kind of throw it out the window. Like it's perfect timing. Like it really is that rough. Um, first of all, the zoning is gone. Um, he does have this, which comes out on odd angle. I do like that. It's kind of nice. Uh, the key blasts are all more focused, so you can do up to eight. That's kind of cool. That's not a bad improvement. But it starts to really kind of go downhill from here. Now, first good thing. Instant transmission. Good side. This is an instant transmission. You can never go wrong with having one of these. Because it does so many things. Like, it does this. Just as a sample. Just as a quick sample. You can... Preserve your smashes. You don't have to burn key. You can just do that to pop your opponent's backside. Um, you can use this to evade a lot of stuff and get very heavy punishes. Like if they do a beam from a distance. Uh, if you're far enough away and they do barrage death beam, for example, pop in. Now, the issue here is that some characters have different priced instant transmissions, I guess you could say. Goku usually has them at three. Or, sorry. Goku usually has them only costing two. Perfect Cell has them at three. That's expensive. Blast, it's already hard enough to try to get stocks on Cell already because a lot of his good tools are on his Blast Ones. With this though, it's like, oh Jesus Christ, okay. So let's say you had to, I was gonna say Synchro Climb, this is not Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's say you form, you form Climb from Imperfect Cell all the way to this form and you wanna access, you know, Sorry for the backslide glitching the fuck out, by the way, on, his, on the wings. I don't know what's going on with that with the emulator. Um, so it's two, it costs two per form. So two to get in semi, two to get into perfect, two to get into super, into super perfect. That's six bars right there. And then the additional four, uh, sorry, the additional three, four is transmission. That's nine stocks in the battle right there. God damn, you better be a god in order to pull that one off. Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, it, it kind of goes downhill from here. Uh, Wild Sense, which Wild Sense can be all right because when you uh, t warp out of an attack, like let me just have him set up to do just, just hit me in the face a lot. It instantly causes a knockdown. I had no input on it whatsoever. That can be useful for just immediately creating space, but the problem is that the Wild Sense, the attack. It can also be countered out of. So if your opponent's sharp, or if they have wild sense, they, they can wild sense your wild sense. So it's something, but I wouldn't not want for fucking two bars. That's ugh, rough. Full power death beam. It's a downgrade. That damage sucks. Look at the speed. Oh my god, that's so horrible. Yeah, also, it's hard to even get, get all the fucking moves, uh, hits to connect. Doesn't even cause, like, a huge explosion. Does... If you do this at the right angles, you can also get, like, a lot of, a lot of it to whiff. 
Yeah, only four hits connected there. I think it normally has five. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's kind of rough. It sucks going from the literal god tier barrage that beam down to this. It's rough. Now, we're, depending on how you look at it, perfect combination being on here can be a good thing. It's a rush attack. Rush attacks can be good or bad depending on what you do them for. Good thing is you can come after it. And reach not insignificant numbers. And you know what you can do? You can loop it. Literally just do it again. Well, maybe you want to go for uh, full power death wave afterwards, but whatever. 26k from that, although, although you do have to regain a full key bar to do it again from f if you start at 5, but you know, details. Kind of cool. It's not bad. It's not that bad. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, you can see that Perfect Cell is really lost. He's lost his long range, his, his long range gameplay and his mid range gameplay. In exchange for that, he has one move that is good for long range and not much else. Like, literally, I think from you not here, this loses a lot of the cluster. Still at 74. I know it's got a, range, a pretty bad range cap. Actually, it's proven to be kind of decent. But like, look at this. I can literally take a nap and come back and just like, yep, that's all coming at me. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's so fucking slow. Like, most players should be able to react to that. Conversely, however, I think he does also have probably one of the best ultimates available to him. As in, it's a beam. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see the numbers really fast. Full five bars. It does 16. Well, that's not so shabby. Uh, 16k for uh, was the beam ultimate and also not one uh, pretty unique beam ultimate too I gotta say it's really nice to look at um, it's good um, perfect ba uh, perfect barrier is pretty good it's like a strap combo under up close because they had the Z counter every single hit manually this is pretty good if you get a, a long knock away and you really got to go for an end or some, of some kind or they whip something big it's like up oh, yep you are going to die now so <laughs> rip so it's not bad. Um, arbitrary scores. Yeah, Cell goes from having probably one of the best Blast 2 kits in the game to one. I don't know about one of the worst. I think only slightly better than what uh, Imperfect Cell has because Imperfect Cell has like two charges, two charge range moves. That's rough. Blast Ox is. Selection is also kind of rough. I mean, it's not Solar Flare. It's not. Mm, I mean, I guess Pump Up does actually get some good damage. Fuck me, I just do not like this move set. It's this is a part of, part of the reason why I never really use in Perfect uh, Super Perfect Cell. It's not optimal. Now that said, though, like I said, yeah, he does have a Rolling Hammer. So one thing you can do with Rolling Hammer if you want to bait an opponent to doing something stupid is you can do this, and you kind of just keep going with this. Now, this is better as a straight AI killer. Also, yeah, you only get full power death beam as your uh, ender at max power. Eugh. That is very unfortunate, but whatever. Um, anything else? Yeah, not much else to go with that. that. It's very unfortunate. So that bites. Now, the good thing, though, is that Super Perfect Cell does have a uh, Super Saiyan 2 level stun uh, in order to break armor. So, if... If you're up against Broly, he does have a slightly better time against him than, say, you know, Perfect Cell. But uh, that's cool. But honestly, against Broly, I think I'd rather have Barrage Death Beam if I'm being real. Really take, uh, pick your poison. I will definitely say, though. Having uh, Rolling Hammer for Perfect Cell really does tie the room together pretty well with them. That said, though. I would rather not have um, this, but it's it's so-so. 
if he had if he actually had well, what what I already had probably like um fuck I actually don't know I guess it's better than blaster wave but still or wait he has blaster wave the the um the one Vegeta often has uh like the chart uh hand charged key blast oh I forgot what it's called him but yeah that's not so bad um close up he's still decent tank guys two tank guys three so it's unfortunately he does take a, a notable hit it I, I rated like in perfect cell or so, sorry perfect cell like a 9 out of 10 this form definitely dips to like an 8 out of 10 for me um 7.5 he's definitely and if we're talking about this form like outside of instant transmission i would much rather just use gohan for this form unfortunately uh for this hit stun yeah sucks but it is what it is but anyway hope you guys enjoyed uh yeah perfect super perfect cell is not great but if you use all these forms as a collective unit like if for example if you're going for you know survival uh dragon point battle uh, shit like that you can get some really good mod out of now oh yeah that's right also before we leave i'm gonna show you two sample builds i made with cell uh just for because why the fuck not so my first build uh this one this is basically uh perfect cell turbo basically this is made i this is here for if you have to start in perfect cell and you want to get to higher forms ASAP. Basically, blast gauge recovers more quickly. Uh, initial 10k health. And blast off consumption goes down by one. Not a small amount for considering, you know, after image, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I guess this is also good for semi perfect cell, too, if you want to use it for that. Uh, this also lowers um, instant transmission from three blast socks down to two. Much better, but one bar instant transmission you can't say no to that really dude come on and dragon spirit will help you in order uh accumulate enough blast sock early on in order to go right to higher forms this form this setup is if i'm going to start perfect cell basically in under in our 10k now one thing again to go with the fact that i'm doing mission 100 exclusively on new game save file these are all available at the start of the game so you can just immediately just pop in and get this stuff Lay energy defense goes up as health goes down. Uh, key power goes up as health goes, goes down. Basically, charge faster. It's cool. Uh, blast gauge recovers more quickly. And super up. Because you're going to use your supers quite a bit as cell. Like, being real here, no matter what your form, you're probably going to use them a little bit. Except for, like, maybe imperfect. Yeah. Now, if you have access to it, I actually recommend um, attack minus one and super up plus two. Or attack minus one and key up plus two because those are actually really useful in fact uh, i think that guide i linked earlier actually recommends that and anyway, yeah these are pretty good um other stuff you can do is you maybe you can raise his um armor piercing uh to better combat really if you're starting super per super perfect self it's a thought if you want to fuck around with it you totally can anyway yeah so that's all i know about uh cell Yasla went over a lot of stuff very quickly. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't think Super 17 can absorb Raj Death Beam. I want to toss that out there. But, yeah. Later. Uh, if anyone has com uh, ideas or uh, things that I missed, comment down below. Catch you next time. Peace. And now I'm actually going to end the stream. Night, guys.